So everybody has one of these drawers like this in their kitchen, and I thought I would challenge myself to organize it using non-traditional uh, stock. Uh, instead of using wood and nails and glue, I was thinking of trying to use some of this uh, flat aluminum, flat bar aluminum that I got at Home Depot. It was about 10 bucks. I think I needed two of these. And uh, then I would go over and print out some brackets on the 3D printer. Although it's going to take about nine and a half hours to print, I did them all in one shot and with about 20% infill. And whether I use all of them or not, um, I figured I would go through and give it a whirl. And I'm just using some white PLA um, plastic for its uh, rigidity. Nine and a half hours later, they're all printed and ready to go. And I just removed them from the bed and now it's time to lay them all out and see what they're gonna look like. And then I just kind of put them in the uh, order I think they're gonna go. I think I'm actually gonna make this shorter than what I had originally designed. Cause I don't know if I have enough aluminum to do it. So, uh, all right, let's get to it. Pull us all this stuff apart and let's start organizing it the way I'd like it to look. So I just configured the way I think, you know, stuff I use the most often and the way it'll fit in there nice. And I think I'll make the back sort of an open area. And the idea is, is I'll use the aluminum, two inch wide aluminum, um, and fit it in so that the items will fit between the spacers and, and sanding it down to make it fit a little bit better in that slot that I I, uh, I print it out and work my way around and create a little frame that everything will fit in. I'm just using a pencil and a quick square I cut to the lengths that I needed and brought it really right over to the bandsaw. Aluminum cuts just like wood. Then I took it over to my one inch belt sander and smoothed down the edges a little bit so they'll fit better. Definitely a nice snug fit, and that's what I'm looking for. All right, let's fill it up. I think it worked out pretty well to challenge myself to not use wood, to use this uh, aluminum flat bar, and the 3D printer was sort of a fun challenge, and I think it came out pretty good, and it looks not too bad at all. It would work really, really well for a shop too, for tools, because it's a little bit more rugged with the aluminum. But thanks for watching. This is Chris Demetric from TDW Woodworks, and we'll see you next time and get organized.